Calvin leaves first just to go to the bathroom. There's one switch in particular, and that one switch is Rebecca and Amanda. Now at first that might not seem important, but when they switch, did you notice how Rebecca may or may not have added poison to Calvin's drink? No. Rebecca? No, I didn't. Slow your roll there, Rebecca. You're not the only one, and you know it. Calvin, drinking up all of that poison, leaves again, not only to get the surprise for us, but he's feeling very ill from, you guessed it, the poison. Obviously, he's not gonna tell his guests that, so he leaves, hoping to feel better if he goes for a little walk. Obviously, that didn't work out for him, and sadly, Calvin ends up dying. First, you may m wonder why, but that's not all. And we remember Amanda. We remember that Amanda had been getting a little sick every day. She was drinking her medicine, which hasn't been helping, and the doctors didn't know what was wrong with her. But eventually, due to this unknown sickness, she died in her sleep. It may just seem like a coincidence, it's not. Remember the medicine that she had been taking multiple times a day? That wasn't medicine. That was poison. And who do you wander from? Her own fiance. But no, she, she was just sick, I promise you. Why would you do this to me? You know that it's not me. Oh, but that's not all. I'm giving Amanda this medicine for just a little over a year. Which means over time, she's gotten a little more sick and eventually the poison that she had been taking, just the tiny bit every day, was too much for her body, so she gave out. But that still doesn't explain everything. You're obviously wondering why. Um, starting off with Alexander. As you know, Calvin had a very large fortune. I figured out that fortune was the reason why all of this happened. The two were working together to get all of this amazing money. Once Rebecca had done the deed of killing Calvin, all of Calvin's money was immediately transported to Amanda. And you know Amanda's, everything of Amanda's, is immediately transported to Alexander. You guys get what I'm trying to say? And that's not all. Alexander, he's never loved Amanda. Past who knows how long Alexander and Rebecca have been together, a married couple. I pay attention to the little rings on your finger, but nice try. So, in conclusion, together they were gonna run off and live a nice and luxurious life. You should have known if 
there's an author who writes murder mysteries, there's no way you're getting out of here uncaught. Um, honey, uh, sweetie, it's okay, it's okay. Um, we're gonna make it out of here, we're gonna make it out of here. We, we have to, <gasps> yes, they're both the right here, officer. Take them away. You two are under arrest. Everything you say and do will be used against you. No, I knew I never liked you the second I saw you. Ugh, by the way, you have horrible fashion taste too. Screw all of you. Oh, you little rats. Ugh. You're gonna wish you hadn't done any of that when I'm done with you. No, no. Yeah. Nice try, buddy. Miss, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, just go get him. Ugh. Not today. <clears throat> Come on, off to jail. Oh, you will pay. You did it, you did it. Good job, mamma mia, that was mm, pretty impressive. I'll give it to you. <sighs> Good job, you, you really did well on that. He didn't deserve death as much as some people despise him. Thank you so much, Mia. Oh, you are amazing. Words can't describe how happy I am that you did this. You know, good job. Why, Rosalie? This is a really hard case, and I don't think the police could even solve this. So, great job. Thanks, Rosalie. I'm a little nervous for my speech. You'll do great. Uh, excuse me one moment. Sorry for accusing you of the murder. It wasn't my purpose intention. Anyway, goodbye. <sighs> what a bummer I had to go. I know, right? We did everything that we can, but Neither of them made it. Why would they make us even come? This is so stupid, I swear. Everyone, we are not starting. Please be quiet if you could. We come here today to celebrate the amazing life that these two beautiful people had. So some of you ugh, might not be as close, but a lot of us here were, and it really hurts our heart to know that these two amazing people have sadly passed away. So if you would like to say anything, you may come up. Um, yes. I knew him for hmm, seven years, I guess. Yeah, I appreciate the effort these two put in to make me happy. They're both my family, so I've known these two for as long as I can remember, and they've never ever made me sad, and they can always find a way to put a smile on my face. Um, yes, they were both pretty naive. There's police right over there, and we already let you come and get out of jail, so I wouldn't push it. Hey, okay, they were trustworthy, yes, they were very trustworthy. I still love him. These two were both good people. They were very kind. I'll never forget these two. The two were very kind and sweet, and they always found a way to make us happy. <clears throat> When you lose people, especially when you're close with them, it hurts. Starting with Calvin, he, the second I met him, he just had such a positive energy and was always so happy and just so sweet. You can tell he's been hurt many times before and he's still really good at being kind to the people who hurt him. In other words, He'll be kind and caring and everything you want in a friend to anybody here, no matter what you've done or said to them. He's honestly such a sweet guy and 
I never even got to say goodbye. So it really stings. It does. And Amanda, the first time I met her, she just had this cute little smile and that smile just makes you want to share a, Amanda's face to the world. When I met her, I thought, oh yeah, we're gonna be close. She was kind and caring and trustworthy and compassionate. Everything you want in a friend is right here. And some annoying and stupid people decided to ruin that. In conclusion, no matter who they talk to or me, they'll be so kind and caring. No matter who these people are, they make the world so much better than it is. And I know I didn't know them for too long, but darn, I just wish I got to spend some extra time with them because <sighs> they were real keepers and I'll never forget them. They'll always be in my heart. So thank you. <clears throat> I guess that wraps up this funeral. Um, thank you all for coming. If you would like to stay for a little snack, then please do. Um, but we won't hold you any longer. So, thank you. Bye, Calvin. Bye, Amanda. You two were awesome. Home sweet home. I still can't believe that I have this award now. Mm. And wow. This series went by really quick, so I was not expecting it to go by this fast. But I hope you all enjoyed my Halloween special. Happy Halloween, all of you. Comment down below if you guys like. Okay, I have a lot of things. Number one, comment down below what you're being slash doing for Halloween. Number two, comment down below um, your favorite type of Halloween candy. Number three, comment down below who you suspected and why and if you got it right or not because i would love to hear it so make sure to smash that like button subscribe and thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed my series thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye